Hi there and welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. So this afternoon I am just got off work for the day and it's a beautiful evening. It's just about the middle of May and I'm out planting my onions that I started from seed. I've got them planted in containers. I've been doing that for a few years now and it has been working out pretty good. So um, I'm going to start it here and then I thought you know I should be filming this just maybe sharing a few things that I've learned, a few tips uh, about planting onions. I'm by no means an expert on it. Um, this is something that I've just been doing for a couple years, doing them from seed. So I'm just going to show you how I plant up my onions, maybe give you a few tips. So let's get started. So one of the things I learned about planting onions is it is kind of a slow and tedious process. So if you're doing it in containers like I am here, it's very harder on your back to bend over. If you're doing it in the ground, crawling around on your hands and knees, that can also get a little strenuous. So this is why i am got my handy dandy garden kneeler here. I'm using it today to sit on so I can be really comfortable while I am slowly planting these onions. So I highly recommend one of these, what, no matter how old you are, this is such a wonderful thing to have in the garden. It just makes, everything so much more comfortable your back doesn't get sore your knees don't get sore i was using it indoors this winter crawling around in my grow tent as a kneeler and now i've been using it as something that i can sit on comfortably right at the level of my containers and really enjoy you know the planting process so this is what a container of onions like i started looks like and as you can see there planted fairly thick in here and that's not a problem at all they're very easy to pull apart once it comes time to plant so you can see here these are the red onions that I've been planting in my container and they can they come apart really easily like this you can just basically pull them apart and the roots come up come apart from each other quite easily just make sure your soil is you know moistened pretty good when you're doing this and they are very easy to to pull apart you don't have to worry about hurting the roots and then they are ready to get planted up so I started off by freshening up my containers here with some some new potting soil I mixed up some peat moss and some potting soil here I'm just gonna add that to my container so I just like to loosen up last year's soil and mix in some of that fresh stuff that I just added. Then I like to just top it up with a little uh, all-purpose organic fertilizer here. So I'll just sprinkle some of that in and work it in as well. So I found some of this in my garden shed. This is granular bone meal, which is good for root growth stimulation. So this is something that will be good for onions. So I'm just gonna add a handful of that into here as well. So once you got that all worked in, you got the soil all loosened up you're ready to start putting your onions in so the ones i'm going to start planting here are the walla walla onions and these are known as a long day onion which is the kind of onion you want to grow here in my growing zone three where we have long days of sunlight starting now until you know mid july so these like about 12 to 16 hours of daylight so these are a great onion to grow in this area so I'm just going to grab a handful here and start separating them. I'm not sure if all of these are going to fit in this container. So just kind of gently tease the roots apart. As I said, they won't harm them. You can just kind of pull them apart and they'll come apart fairly easy. And 
And then I just kind of slowly start pulling a few out. As you can see, they have super long roots right now. Looking pretty healthy. And the thing is about planting onions is you don't want to plant them too deep. You want to just make sure you are getting those roots under the soil and just covering up not too much of what's going to be the bulb of the onion. You want that to grow basically on top of the soil, not underneath. So just remember that when planting, you don't plant these too deep. So just to dig a little bit of a hole, make sure those roots are all in there and just kind of push the dirt around that area that's going to bulb out eventually and pat it down. So these will kind of look a little floppy at first when you plant them up but once those roots take hold and they gain a little strength your onions will start growing tall and strong. So like I said it's a bit of a, a slow tedious process doing this can take a little while so make sure you give yourself enough time make sure you're comfortable because this can get a little hard on the back after a while and I don't really worry too much about spacing just kind of keep in mind how big you know an onion can get and make sure you have space I will plant them probably a little thicker than we should, but I will thin them out throughout the summer. You can pick the small ones and, you know, eat them, cook them with them, and just use them in salads or whatever and kind of thin them out naturally throughout the season that way. So besides the Walla Walla, I like growing a red onion as well. I do some green onions also from seed. I've got some started in my winter sowing jugs. And if I find I have some empty containers or space in the garden once everything's planted up I probably will grow some more onions are something that are so easy to store in the winter they don't require a whole lot of preparation just keeping them in a cool dark place is all you need to do and we pretty much cook with onions every day so you can never have too many And usually later on in the season when those onions start to bulb you can do a bit of a uh, spooning around them just to kind of keep that dirt clear and you know give uh, space for those onions to really bulb out. So after you get them all planted in you know they, they kind of don't look so great they look like you know they're all kind of flopped over and don't look so healthy. But like I said after a week or so those roots will you know take hold and they will start standing up a little straighter so after I've got them all planted here I'm just going to give them a good watering sometimes you can even buy these uh, seedling onions already planted in uh, greenhouses and you can just bring them home separate them like I showed you and plant them up get everything well watered in And then I like to kind of top it up with a mulch of dried leaves. I'm just going to give it a day here just to kind of let them take hold of the soil a little bit before I cover them up with some dried leaves, which I still need to uh, collect. I've got a bunch around in the hedges here I need to rake up and collect so that I can start mulching everything that I've been planting here in my garden this spring. So I will keep you updated on how the onions are doing and I hope you will keep following me along on my gardening 2024 outdoor season and please hit that like button leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. Thanks for watching.